going on YouTube? This is Fish Freak Phil, giving you an update on the Fluval Evo 13.5. It's been a couple of weeks, this is my last real update. Um, just wanted to kind of bring you guys up to speed. Um, lastly, I had dosed with another set of, uh, well, I dosed reflux again. Um, and since then, it's been pretty good. Um, still got a little bit of light algae growing, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Um, but I just wanted to give you a shot at some corals to see what's happening with them. Yeah, see, I had a little bit Montiparsitosa. It kind of almost died out, but look at it. Came back. And I crawl in the back there. Still find some algae issues, but it's coming back. Um, even my clove pops who couldn't couldn't pay them to grow. And they're starting to spread a little bit. Look at that. Everything's doing pretty good. But still have some still have bubble algae in the tank that I manually remove. I don't I don't think it's a big problem that uh require me to do anything more than that. Um, so about once a week, I'll scan overhead to see if I see any new growths, and I will, um, during my water changes, I will move them. I'll just kind of take note of where they are, and I'll scrape the area while I'm doing, while I'm suction siphoning out the water. Um, yeah, so everything is looking okay. I'm having issues, the algae issues that I've been having in both tanks um, seems to be a result of some water. Um, basically, where I typically get my water from, the LFS there is actually in the middle of a location move. So the last few months I've been getting water from this other location, this other place, and I finally put two and two together and realized it's the water. I did get a TDS meter. Um, when I read it, it came back. The water in my um, my canisters for the uh, RODI water that goes into the um, auto top off. I read it in both cases on both tanks it came back as T 10 TDS. Now that might not sound too high, that might not sound, that might be sound low, I don't know. The only thing I know is that with most t TDS readers you have a plus or minus 2% or 2 whatever that may be. Um, so at worst it would be 12 and at best 8. Then I take that same water, I just take that same TDS meter and I tested the water that I had recently gotten from the LFS and it was reading at 18. Um, two into, now mind you, these are the two same, two same canisters I use, I've been using from the start to carry my water from the other LFS back to home. Um, and that came out as 18 in both of those containers. So, like I said, that might not sound like high numbers, I don't know. Um, the only thing I do know is, at, in that case, the best, worst case scenario, it'd be 20, and, and the best case, 16, you know, give or take. Now, I'm just assuming that my TDS meter is reading zero, and it comes supposed to, supposedly comes calibrated from the manufacturers, but, like I said, anything manufactured sometimes don't always come out correct or there may be some uh, defects in it. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is actually taking some of my RODI water that I got from that LFS and bringing it back to them and asking them to test it to see what they get against you know their meters versus mine just to see what happens. Um, at this point, um, I don't like to say, I like to pink, point the finger at myself first and say something I was doing, but we've seen this tank have better days. Not to say it's horribly, just, you know, it's horrible now, but this tank has had better days. So is my other tank. Um, I'll be doing a video exclusively on that and showing you, giving you an update on that tank. Um, but at this point, I, I, I've, I kind of have come in, I've, I've, 
it stands strong to, to reason that the problem is the water. I mean, I haven't changed much. <laughs> so, um, I mean, some people are saying, you know, you know, because I started this, understand, I did start this tank with both tanks with dry rock. But this tank is a year old, so it was, I don't think it would suddenly start, quote unquote, leaching phosphates um, after a year. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but. I don't think that, that this doesn't make sense to me, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm a newbie. Leave comments b below what you think. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, the tank is looking pretty good. Um, like maybe, maybe I'm just, I just, I just noticed the, uh, like a little white light fuzz, little light green fuzz of algae. It's not quite way it used to be and maybe I need to get one of those gobies to get down there and do some work for me um, yeah I see him hiding back there my rainford goby yeah, that's supposed to be his job but he kind of eats algae he, and that's all he does is eat algae he's a herbivore but he doesn't really get after what's in the gravel like a, like a the yellow watchman goby or any one of those gobies would um, so I might actually see, look into getting something small, maybe, I don't know. I think I've reached my max in terms of fish on this tank. I don't wanna, I wanna keep this one really, uh, this, you know, stocked lower than it has been, than it is. I mean, I wanna keep it where it is right now. I know I've had a lot more fish in this tank at one point in time, but um, I'm gonna keep this one right where it's at, I think. But uh, if I do add, another fish it'll be something that uh, that I'll go after this uh, gravel keep that nice and white for me but other than that um, all's looking pretty dope um, so yeah this look at that man at one point I thought this coral was damn near dead and it's happened a couple of times so I, I will I will leave, you know, let's have a frag, I'll have a frag that'll bleach out and I'll leave it there for a while to make sure it's dead. Because you never know, sometimes these things, you know, bounce back somehow. Um, like the case of that uh, aqu aquaporina back there. Um, I mean, that had some, it didn't completely bleach out. I could always see like some red some red, some of the pops were just basically weren't extended. Um, but now it looks like it's coming back. Um, yeah, everything's looking dope. Everything's looking really dope. Um, yeah, but I've have a, I've, I have ordered a RODI unit. Um, fortunately, I gotta wait for it to come. It's not coming fast enough, but it sucks. And you know the, I, I know what the possible issue with these tanks are happening and right now I have to sit and wait. Um, unfortunately, there isn't a, another LFS close enough that I know of um, where I can get some RO water from. I know I could possibly uh, buy, um, check like Walmart and stuff like that or local grocery store, see if they have any RID. DI water there. Um, I know some places sell it at these these uh, this water jug uh, fill stations. Um, but at this point, I am gonna just be patient, like I should be most of the time, and I'm not. But I'm gonna try to be patient and wait and see. Uh, wait until I get my my unit, make some water, and see what happens. But I still wanna take. Uh, I'm still gonna take this water back tomorrow. And, and see what the prognosis is when they uh, when they read it. Um, who knows? Maybe maybe it's just my TDS meter and it's something else that I that I haven't looked at yet. But um, I've, uh, I've you know water changes, water changes, and no change. I've been well. That's a, another video for my uh, bigger tank, which I'll do shortly. Anyway, um, this is an update on the Cobalt Aquatics. 
Oh, it's not called the class. My bad. This is my uh, Fluval. <laughs> I'll be doing the update on the Cobalts later, but this is my Fluval Evo 13.5. Um, oh, real quick, I added, I basically made a, another uh, mesh top. Now this I got from Bulk Week Supply, the mesh top kit. Um, this is my second one for this tank, and I made two of them for my other larger tank, and I still have mesh left over. So if you guys have several tanks, the only thing you have to do is probably buy, um, get these from like Home Depot or Lowe's. These are the screen, um, uh, screens that uh, you can get. Like a couple, do a couple bucks give you, give you nice uh, large pieces. Um, honestly, I've made, I've made four, two for this and two for my other tank. And I still have leftover screening. Like when you buy this kit um, from Bulk Week Supply, it comes with a lot of mesh, so you can make multiple tops. You just have to buy the corners and the, and the um, screening, um, which is only a couple bucks from any of those like, big big box um, hardware stores or, even, or small ones if you have them around. Um, but yeah, um, I had to do that because uh, I sick of tired of having fish jump out because it was. It wasn't it wasn't it wasn't right so now I have it hanging off the top I know some might not be good for some of you guys but it's good enough for me and I don't care about what's outside the tank more about what's inside the tank if that's just me do you anyway fish week Phil giving you that update and this fluval Evo 13.5 coils are looking pretty dope today out and those check them out do your research try things out and see what happens check out my pics on uh, Instagram fish freak Phil all one word go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that little bell if you want to see the updates I've been away for a little bit but uh, I got some videos coming back for you guys later uh,